Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the patch Hell's Bells in GMS and it sounds like this. All right, so let's get into this. I kind of wanted to make a kind of creepy, dissonant, kind of detuned type of patch, and that's what I came up with here. So let's dive into this. Let's turn off our effects here. And if you haven't noticed my little notepad here, it's so I can remember the effects that I have on here, because with this synth, once you turn it off, it's kind of hard to remember unless you remember exactly what every knob is. And sometimes we're all human and we all forget just a little bit. So let's turn off our reverb, our echo, also known as delay, a little bit of flanger, and then our bit crusher. And let's look at the oscillators first off. So we're going to be using all three oscillators in addition to the noise oscillator for this patch. The first oscillator is going to be vocal, and that's going to be at zero pitch change. So it's going to be exactly out of the box, but it's going to be a little detuned in the fine pitch by plus eight. The strat is going to be the second oscillator, and that's going to be up seven. So we're going to be adding that fifth in there to kind of give it a power chord feel. And it's going to be minus 10 for the fine tuning. And then for the third one is going to be the liquid waveform and it's going to be down one octave and then plus six on the fine tuning here. So we're basically doing a power chord and then this one here is going to be holding that low end as well. So the zero and this 12 are going to be the same note. Now with GMS, your first oscillator is kind of just your output and then you mix in the second oscillator and the third oscillator. So the second oscillator volume is going to be 0.68% and then the third is going to be 0.61 and then the noise is 0.17. We have two voices of unison and then stereo all the way up and then the detune is going to be at 0.25 and we also have mono voice on so keep that in mind there's going to be no eq within the synth itself but there's going to be eq later which we will get to but just so you know and a very cool effect and i highly recommend you play with this if you don't with gms you have this sync option here and i have this amount all the way to the top which really has a cool effect to it so if i turn this down So here's off, and then all the way to the top. And then let's move on to our filter here. So I'm using a low pass filter here at a cutoff at 0.82%. Zero resonance, I'm not really a big fan of resonance too much in this synth, it's okay, but there's something I just don't really like too much about it. Next up in our envelope section, we're actually not using any envelopes here. As you can see, the amount slider is all the way down for both envelopes, but we are using an LFO. Only the first one, as you see, the second one, the amount is zero. So this first LFO, what is it doing? So we have our sync on none, and then we have our rate all the way at the bottom, but we have our amount here at 0.3, and it's going to be sent to the frequency at a triangle shape. So let's take a listen to what that is. If I turn this all the way off, as I increase this, doing a very fast pitch modulation with a triangle shape on the overall frequency of the entire patch. But all the way at the top is kind of a lot. So 0.3 is, is a good middle ground. So let's go back up to 0.3. So we still have that effect, but it's not going to be overpowering. It's just going to add the char characteristic of the sound. Next up on our main envelope, we have our attack at 0.14, our decay at 0.63, our sustain at zero, and then our release at 0.7. There's gonna be no main pitch change here or any main panning, but there is gonna be some frequency glide. So we turn this little button on and this knob is at 0.17. So it kind of slides a little bit between the notes. Moving on to our effects, and this is really where it uh, it makes it shine. Keep in mind the distortion, I'm not using it for this patch, but it is fantastic in this patch. We're gonna be seeing other videos with the distortion module here and GMS is pretty great. So we're gonna start off with a bit crusher here and we have to glue it to turn it on at first. I didn't touch the filter knob, but I did change the crush to about 0.63. So here's the difference without and with. So 
So you get that bit crushing sound, but then there's, it also adds this weird thing, kind of a little lower volume in the patch that I can't really know how to describe, but it's a very cool effect it gives. Next up, we're gonna have our flanger here. So the time knob is at, at noon and the feedback is at noon. I literally just press glue. I'm like, this is right for this patch. That doesn't necessarily happen all the time, but when it does, it's kind of a win. So here's without and with. Just small little building blocks of this uh, of this patch, I guess, and it kind of just incrementally works. A little bit of that vibrato tuning, a little bit of crusher, a little flanger, and then now we're gonna add some echo or delay. So let's glue this here and let's listen to what we have. The filter is gonna be at noon as always, and then the feedback I changed up just slightly at 0.55, so what's that, 0.5% or something like that? So that's that delay you were hearing. And we can even see it here. How about that? Next up, we're gonna have our reverb and we'll glue this as well. The filter I left alone as well and then also just increase the feedback a little bit. So here's with no reverb. Now let's add a reverb. And that's basically this patch in a nutshell. The last thing I wanted to show you here is on the channel as well. I have an EQ and I'm dialing off a lot of that low end here, taking out the muds and then boosting the highs. So this is probably what your patch sounds like if you're following along. And that's good if it sounds low end like that and that that's a good start of course now we want to add some extra eq because i know there's an eq here but it doesn't really it's not too helpful unless it's like you want to make a quick change the equalizer isn't is helpful so i brought in the fruity eq here or the parametric eq too and here's the change So I wanted a little bit of low ends but i also wanted that bass to carry the low end as well here and have the mid range and the high range kind of take center stage for this patch. I generally have a compressor here just in case I need to put it in line, but it is deactivated. So you can use some, use some compression on this if you'd like, but I haven't put it on for this patch. So with all that being said, this is how the patch is done. And let's check out the whole thing in context. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, press like and we'll see you in the next video.